Peace and blessings to everybody out there. This is Zen with another video. Man, I'm kind of frustrated because I did a whole video on glutamate, anxiety, and depression, and accidentally deleted it. So now I have to do another one. All right. Here we go again. Glutamate. Glutamate, well, let me, you know, first off, tell you what it is. Glutamate is a cellular metabolic byproduct that is ubiquitous throughout the central nervous system. Okay? Um, the brain produces it in small amounts. Now you have MS. MSG, you have MSG, which is the acronym for monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate. The key word is glutamate. Monosodium glutamate is the salt form of glutamate. It's essentially an additive to enhance the taste of food. Now, MSG occurs naturally in some foods like tomatoes, cheese, um, soy extract, protein isolates, but consumed in considerable amounts, it becomes a neurotoxin. An alternative terminology for that is cytotoxin, which is more inimical, adverse than cyanide. Yes, I said that. Glutamate, MSG, which is in a lot of products on the supermarket shelves, when consumed considerably, even when consumed moderately, it turns into a neurotoxin, which causes cell death. And you might be asking, well, Zen, how does glutamate or MSG you can use those terms alternatively, and I mean interchangeably, because it's the same thing. You may be asking, well, how does MSG cause cell death? MSG is glutamate. Well, over-excitation over of the neuron. Over-excitation of the neuron. The neuron gets so excited because glutamate is an excitatory neuron when you consume MSG the neuron gets so excited that it dies kind of like it has a seizure or something and as far as depression is concerned it's been empirically scientifically proven that people who are depressed have significantly more glutamate in their brains than their healthy counterparts. Everything that I say, if you have time, you could, you know, do your own research on it, you know. Everything that I say is the Bible. Okay? So if you have excessive amounts of glutamate in your brain, and low GABA, that might be the cause of your anxiety. It may be one of the causes. You might have various causes, okay? Um, because there's ways that you increase glutamate in the brain, just like GABA. If you are consuming considerable amount of MSG, then yes, you have excessive glutamate in your brain. And like, like Chinese food is, has an influx of uh, MSG in their products. And if you're in tune with your body, you can tell immediately when you consume M MSG. That's if you're in tune with your body. Some of the symptoms is foggy brain, irritability, anxiousness, depressed mood, because you're consuming glutamate, okay? 
So just let's just say hypothetically that you're that you're taking uh, benzodiazepines or anti-anxiety medication, which you know artificially enhances GABA, in conjunction with eating a high glutamate diet, then you know that's a recipe for a disaster. Because if you're drinking alcohol and taking uh, anti-anxiety medication, but at the same time eating foods that's high in aspartame and uh, MSG, then that could be, a, I mean, that could very well be a cause of your uh, mood disorders, depression, anxiety. A lot of people not get enough sleep because of worry and uh, anxiousness. A lot of people, you know, consume considerable amounts of caffeine. A lot of people don't eat enough vegetables and fruits and um, free range meats. And I did a video on L-theanine and it befuddled me that uh, a lot of people said it didn't work for them. Now that's plausible because we are all different physiologically, you know. We have a different chemical makeup. But just because you take a supplement doesn't negate your insalubrious lifestyle. If you're taking L-theanine, but at the same time consuming considerable amounts of MSG, not getting enough sleep, not drinking enough water, not giving your body the sustenance that it needs to subsist, then that, L, that, that L-theanine is going to be null and void. It's not going to work. You know, people think that they can just take something and magically their symptoms is going to improve. That's the Western way of thinking. You've been conditioned and, and um, indoctrinated to think like that. You know, but in holistic medicine, Eastern philosophies, they know that it, it takes a lifestyle modification. Okay? It takes time. You have to know what you're putting in your body, which is the temple. You have to know how, how does it affect you. Does it affect you adversely? Or does it give you, you know, the extra need for you to be vital, for you to have vitality? So that's my video on glutamate. And another thing. You know, no, I don't think I have anything else. The next video that I do is going to be about, you know, it's going to be the quiet people videos. People been requesting it, so I'm going to deliver. You know, um, so yeah, that's going to be my next video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already you know you know so I guess that's it peace